Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to take a look at Super Joe from 1977. So this particular figure I uh, just received in the other day from eBay. Been on the hunt for this for on and off for a few years actually. And I really found a price that I wanted to pay. So, you know, just would casually look on occasion. And finally, a uh, an auction came up and... Uh, it was very reasonable and this is the figure and he's pretty much complete he's uh, of course missing his hands as uh, all of the Super Joes would uh, made out of a rubbery material that perished as well as their joints uh, the uniform looks actually in really good shape he's got the power vest he's got his boots and the head sculpt is a uh, pretty nice shape too there is a uh, blemish in the plastic but uh, not something uh, I haven't seen before on the vintage shows sometimes the uh, plastic will turn on some of them in spots and this is in the back of the neck so it's not really a big deal um, now the figure is typically in parts unless it's been uh, restored and restoration on these guys can be a little uh, tricky there's no set way to do it. There's been a number of guys who've done some videos on it. Uh, John Wilde did one, and uh, also Skunk Works uh, has done them. And on 3D Super Joes, there's a uh, fix for it on that. Um, I'm going to try something different, but what I'm dealing with here with this figure is this guy's been glued together. So, as you can see an example here no joint in there they've just glued the arms and the legs uh, one of them is already loose uh, so I'm gonna take off the uniform and see what we're really looking at okay so uniform is off and uh, this is what we're looking at uh, you can see the uh, arms here are glued in place uh, the upper arm works and uh, that part wouldn't normally break. Uh, he also has uh, the one-two punch action. So that that still seems to work. It's a little stuck there, but uh, overall it, it's working. So that's nothing to worry about there. Uh, it's also glued here up into the hips and into the knee and you can see it's pretty crusty so I have to work out a way to uh, first break free all of these joints before I can even uh, get started on uh, restringing or rejointing him in some fashion so uh, I'm gonna start with using a blow dryer to heat it up and see if I can separate the glue on these joints Okay, so minimal success with the uh, with the uh, blow dryer. So with that, I was able to separate the knee and one of the hips. Uh, however, this hip is rock solid on there, as well as the arms. They're not budging, they're not cricking or cracking loose at all. So uh, my next step is gonna be, I'm gonna soak the figure in some alcohol and hopefully that will break down the glue that's holding it together. Uh, give that a shot and we'll see uh, how that goes. Gonna use some uh, rubbing alcohol. Alright, so uh, I've had a lot of success so far. So all of the joints off. The last arm uh, turned into a disaster. It popped. It cracked. So 
I'm gonna see what I could do to uh, get this piece off and then hopefully be able to re-glue this back on and then go from there but uh, right at the end there got everything else separated and then the last one uh, totally cracked so see what I could do All right, this has been very frustrating. I just spent the past hour digging the joint that snapped off out of that elbow. Uh, it was just so buried in there and well glued. So I'm gonna have to glue this together. And this is the other part of it. So glue all of that back together and then we can finally start seeing if we can even restore this guy all right uh, now I'm just uh, fishing out the uh, remnants of the uh, rubber joints uh, some dental tools are kinda helpful with this same thing on the legs Okay, so we're back at square one right now, so uh, meaning that I'm ready to actually start a uh, actually restringing them. So I was able to finally get all of the joints unglued. Uh, I was able to re-glue the, uh, the elbow that snapped, and I... Uh, took my time to clean out all of the uh, remaining rubber that would have held the uh, joints together originally that have dried up into the uh, the legs and the arms because uh, if you don't you end up with like an annoying rattle inside the joints so I did that I used the uh, dental tools and just some air you can just blow through them to get most of it out along with the dental tools to uh, get the bigger chunks out so that's all done uh, now on to uh, the method. Uh, this is something I've heard about. Uh, this is maybe not exactly the same product. Uh, some guys uh, were using pipe cleaners to restring them. And I thought that was a pretty uh, pretty interesting idea. So what I picked up were uh, these. They're called uh, Chanel Stems $1.69. Uh, there's your item number. So, pick these up, and uh, this is the closest I could get to a flesh color. They come in a lot of different colors, and uh, open these up and give you a look at what they are. So essentially the same idea as a pipe cleaner. So, they're just Chanel, and they're on a wire. So I'm figuring I could use this to restring the, uh, the Super Joe. And uh, if I have to uh, 
double it up and twist them together to make them stronger uh, I could do that so I'm gonna go ahead and start figuring out how to do that okay so uh, I think I've figured out for the most part how to uh, do the arms uh, basically running it from because I had a lot of difficulty trying to feed this through but it uh, seems like from the inner part of the arm as opposed to the uh, outer uh, seemed to work for me so I ran it from the inside up through and of course through the uh, through this part of the arm as well that can be uh, carefully threaded through pretty easily and then uh, you'll notice there's like a friction as I bring it to a close so it holds firm with this material around it which is nice and then of course you get your uh, posability which is kind of what we're after here so it can hold the pose so it does work this method it's pretty good uh, I'd say um, so I'm going to figure out how to uh, do the legs next okay so I'm uh, developing a uh, little bit of an idea so uh, I got some uh, rubber sheeting and uh, it's pretty thick and uh, decided to see if I could make some barbell joints out of it to uh, put the Super Joe together so uh, give that a try and trim it and get it to hopefully fit and see if that'll work okay another change of plan so what I've done to create the uh, the waist joint is I just used a uh, plastic paintbrush small little plastic paintbrush cut it I've slotted it through and uh, just fit the legs onto that All right, so with that, you got to do a little bit more trimming, but uh, that should that should work. Might have to heat up the end to create like a mushroom, but yeah. Okay, so another new plan with Super Joe here. So I uh, just went with the uh, old-fashioned elastic. I created a knot and I just poked it in there and uh, that's holding fine. So I'll just pull this through and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make another knot and then attach that to the other side. Uh, just poke that in there using, again, the dental tools. Uh, so I'll show you that. Okay, so I created the knot. Uh, I'm just going to cut off the excess here. And then uh, pull it tight. And I'm going to stick it into this side of the leg. Again, using the uh, dental tool. A little hard to do on camera but let's see how far we get okay so as you seen I restrung the legs and uh, what I'm going to do now for the uh, the lower part of the leg created the knot already poked it in there basically I'm just creating barbells with the elastic and knots to make the joints so just uh, put that into the elbow. Again, you're going to need something to push the, uh, the knots into the leg. I've been using this uh, dental pick. So I'll just continue on with that. Okay, so basically it's just uh, a barbell created out of elastic with two knots as close as possible. And then you're going to end up just tucking that in on each end of the joint 
Okay, so I've got the legs restrung. Uh, basically, the barbell knots uh, with some uh, elastic. It's pretty much the same elastic I used to uh, restring uh, some GI Joes. So why not? So barbells and a barbell across here, and that's the legs restrung. Uh, I think I'm going to stick with the uh, pipe cleaner uh, to continue with the arms so with that I'm gonna just fold this over got it restrung through the arm and I'm gonna pull this side in so now that this is folded over that should hold tight I pull it in nice and tight oops pull too much all right so uh, Super Joe is uh, pretty much restrung legs are uh, done uh, again uh, barbell uh, with elastic so elastic tied into a, a knot on two ends for the both knees and same thing across the hip uh, just did the uh, same thing again for the uh, elbow so now I'm going to do the other one and uh, see if see how he turns out in the end. Okay, so here's the uh, barbell again. It's uh, just elastic, two knots. We're going to stick that into the uh, smaller hole first because that's the harder one, and then uh, kind of tie the knot really tight for that one and then uh, just pop on the arm with the other one all right so uh, got the one knot in there just so you can see what I'm talking about that's poked through got the other knot here so just trim the excess and then poke this knot into this joint and that should do it all right, so that's it. He's all restrung. As you can see, he stands there. Uh, probably a little wobbly, but uh, I did get those knots pretty tight, so he should uh, stand with uh, little effort. Also, the uh, arm, just so you can see for posability, you can rotate it left and right. And you can bring it to a full uh, 90 degree. You're going to straighten it out. And any pose in between. And again, that's with the elastic uh, barbell knots. So you do those nice and tight. And it'll, it'll hold the poses. And then with it being a barbell, you know, it kind of, I guess, has only those two points pulling on it. So you don't get the snap back action that uh, I think traditional restringing can create for these kind of guys. So I hope that uh, hope that's of use to you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I kind of just uh, wing that one. Uh, I was going through, as you could tell, uh, a bunch of different ideas from the rubber and uh, well, the pipe cleaner. Problem I was having with that is is stringing it through the legs. It just didn't seem to want to go through. I uh, could get it through the arms, but in the end, I just decided to go with the uh, elastic as barbells. Uh, of course, I got to do uh, something about the hands. I'll do that next. I'll figure something out. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so uh, I figured out some hands, at least temporarily. I don't know if this is going to be the permanent solution. Uh, and I also got him dressed up. Uh, but these here are uh, Marvel Legends hands. Uh, they're from uh, a figure called Nuke. He's like one of the bigger Marvel Legends. Uh, it's this figure here, just in case you're looking to hunt it down. But uh, in any event... 
I thought the scale was pretty good. The skin tone's not a perfect match. Um, my initial thought is to use 1 6 scale female hands, uh, but all the ones I have currently are sealed in packages, so I don't feel like ripping that open to uh, do it, but I think uh, like 1 6 scale gripping female hot toys hands would probably be a good solution. A lot of people use the Mego hands, I think that's fine too. Uh, basically, you do what you like on that. So, in the end, uh, as you've watched this video, you know, I did wing this one. Uh, I went in with an idea, uh, but it just didn't pan out the way I thought it would. It's probably because I'm using uh, the Chanel tubes instead of actual pipe cleaners. But I just had the difficulty trying to fish that through the legs. Um, and again, I ended up going with barbells, basically made out of elastic. I'll put a link in the description below for the elastic I used. Of course, you could pick your own or choose a different color. But uh, I thought it worked pretty well. You know, you do get a um, pretty good range of motion with that. Is it a perfect fix? No. I don't know that anyone's uh, nailed a perfect fix for uh, Super Joe yet. But uh, this is the fix that I came up with. I uh, hope it's of some use to you. I think it's relatively simple. Um, I also did uh, put a AA battery into the power vest. And wouldn't you know it, it works. So this guy is pretty much uh, ready to go on the shelf. Ready to get back into action. You know, he does have his posability now. So you can use them. He's not a glued together uh, statue. So I think that uh, is good enough for me. May revisit this in the future. I think rubber barbells might work out really well. I just couldn't get it to work uh, the way I wanted it to. I think the rubber I was using is a little too rigid. A more spongy rubber I think would work well for popping it into the joints. But uh, that's Super Joe. Uh, I'll put his vest on and we'll wrap it up. All right, so Super Joe's finished. Uh, did uh, forget to mention uh, he does still have his uh, one two punch, so that still works. So that's pretty neat. Uh, sticks a little bit on occasion, but it does work. Uh, so I got Super Joe with his power vest, the battery. He stands relatively well. I don't have really a whole lot of trouble, you know, being that these are elastic joints. So you can kind of move them around, pose them, you know, without too much difficulty. Uh, again, is it a perfect fix? I don't think so. Uh, you know, definitely take a look at Skunk Works. Uh, he did a, a nice job with the 3D printed parts. I know he had some difficulties with those as well. Uh, and then John Wild. With his video on uh, using uh, stringing and uh, the Capri Sun straws, um, and of course uh, the uh, the pipe cleaners, I think uh, that's a viable solution. Just couldn't get it to quite work for me using kind of the wrong thing as well. I think contributed to that. But that's Super Joe. Uh, it was quite an adventure. Uh, you know, I kind of started off behind the eight ball with the uh, completely glued together figure. Uh, had the uh, breakage on the one arm. I was kind of lucky looking at it. I mean, as strong as that glue was, whatever they used, uh, I'm lucky the other joints didn't break as well. So, it uh, quite a journey, but uh, got a Super Joe in the collection, and he's an action figure and not a mannequin. So, I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, thanks for watching.